Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into all things automotive. In today's video, we'll be discussing a crucial component of your vehicle's transmission system, the Vehicle Speed Sensor or shortly VSS. We'll explore the symptoms of a faulty VSS, its potential causes, and the remedies you can apply to get your vehicle back on track. So, let's rev up our engines and get started. A vehicle speed sensor is a sensor that is mounted on the transmission or differential of a vehicle and measures the speed of the vehicle's output shaft. It generates an electrical signal that is sent to the vehicle's engine control module ECM, or transmission control module TCM. The VSS measures the rotation of the output shaft and converts it into a digital signal that is sent to the ECM or TCM. The ECM or TCM uses this information to control various systems in the vehicle, such as the speedometer, cruise control, and transmission shifting. There are two types of VSS, magnetic and hall effect. Magnetic VSS uses a magnet and a coil to generate an electrical signal, while hall effect VSS uses a magnetic field and a semiconductor to generate an electrical signal. Overall, the VSS is an important component in a vehicle's drivetrain system, as it provides critical information to the vehicle's control systems to ensure proper operation and performance. Symptoms of a bad vehicle speed sensor 1. Inaccurate speedometer readings. Your speedometer may display incorrect speeds or fluctuate erratically. 2. Malfunctioning cruise control. The cruise control system may fail to engage or maintain a consistent speed. 3. Harsh shifting or transmission issues, you might experience rough gear shifts, delayed engagement, or even transmission slipping. 4. ABS or traction control problems, faulty VSS can trigger warning lights related to the anti-lock braking system, ABS, or traction control. 5. Stalling or engine performance issues, the ECU relies on the speed sensor data to calculate fuel injection timing. If the sensor is faulty, it may result in stalling, hesitation, or poor engine performance. Causes of a faulty vehicle speed sensor 1. Damaged or worn out sensor. Over time, the VSS can become damaged due to exposure to excessive heat, debris, vibration, or electrical issues. This can lead to inaccurate readings or a complete failure. 2. Electrical issues. Wiring problems, damaged connectors, or corroded terminals can disrupt the signal from the speed sensor or cause intermittent connections. Faulty wiring or connectors, loose connections, frayed wires, or corroded connectors can disrupt the VSS signal. 3. Sensor misalignment. If the VSS is not properly aligned or installed, it may not accurately detect the vehicle's speed. 4. Faulty reluctor ring. Some vehicles have a reluctor ring attached to the wheel hub that works in conjunction with the speed sensor. If the reluctor ring gets damaged or becomes loose, it can affect the performance of the speed sensor. Remedies for a bad vehicle speed sensor 1. Diagnose the issue. Start by using an OBD2 scanner to retrieve any trouble codes related to the speed sensor. This will help you pinpoint the problem and ensure that it is indeed the speed sensor causing the issue. 2. Inspect and clean the sensor. Start by locating the VSS, usually mounted on the transmission or differential. Remove it, clean any debris, and inspect for damage. If necessary, replace the sensor. 3. Check wiring and connectors. Carefully examine the wiring harness and connectors associated with the VSS, repair or replace any damaged components. For Align and secure the sensor. Ensure the VSS is correctly aligned and securely fastened in its designated position. This will optimize its performance and accuracy. 5. Replace the speed sensor. If the speed sensor is indeed faulty, Replacing it is usually the best course of action. Consult your vehicle's service manual or seek professional help to locate and install the new sensor properly. 6. Clear trouble codes and test. After replacing the speed sensor, clear any trouble codes from the ECU using the OBD2 scanner. 
take the vehicle for a test drive to ensure that the symptoms have been resolved. Testing the vehicle speed sensor. 1. Use a multimeter. If you suspect a faulty VSS, you can test it using a multimeter. Set the multimeter to the AC voltage setting and connect the probes to the VSS terminals. Rotate the wheel or have someone drive the vehicle while you monitor the voltage readings. If the readings are inconsistent or non-existent, it may indicate a problem with the sensor. 2. Consult a professional. If you're unsure about testing the VSS yourself or if the symptoms persist after attempting the remedies, it's best to consult a qualified mechanic or technician. They have the expertise and specialized tools to diagnose and resolve VSS-related issues accurately. Importance of a Functional Vehicle Speed Sensor 1. Safety A properly functioning VSS is crucial for the accurate operation of safety systems such as ABS, traction control, and stability control. It ensures these systems can respond effectively in various driving conditions. 2. Transmission Performance The VSS provides vital speed information to the vehicle's transmission control module, allowing it to optimize gear shifts and overall transmission performance. 3. Fuel Efficiency A faulty VSS can negatively impact fuel efficiency since the engine control module relies on speed data to adjust fuel delivery and optimize performance. Preventive Maintenance 1. Regular inspections. Include the VSS in your routine vehicle inspections. Look for signs of damage, loose connections, or corrosion. Address any issues promptly to prevent further complications. 2. Protective measures. Consider installing protective covers or shields around the VSS to shield it from excessive heat, debris, or moisture. This can help prolong its lifespan and prevent premature failure. Remember, a faulty VSS can lead to various issues with your vehicle's speedometer, transmission, and even safety systems. By identifying the symptoms early on and taking appropriate action, you can save yourself from costly repairs and ensure a smooth driving experience. We hope this comprehensive guide on bad vehicle speed sensor symptoms, causes, and remedies has been helpful to you. If you have any further questions or need assistance with any other automotive topics, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all our future videos. Thanks for watching.